Hello, faithful friends of the internet. If you are scared of needles, you might not want to watch this one. So Ashley and I just got back from a major conference with our business. That means we took a lot of pictures, gave a lot of hugs, got a lot of germs, etc. And so that's really important because I need to tell you about this crazy day I had yesterday. So for the last couple of days after getting back from the event, I haven't felt great. I kind of get run down at events uh, just because of all the running, lack of sleep. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty intense situation and then there's a lot of draw on us. We are really exchanging a lot of germs with folks. I just don't feel great coming back, okay? And feel good. So I've got some friends here in the area who are super crunchy, super all natural. It's all plants. And vitamins and don't eat yeast and all this stuff. So a bunch of them who were also feeling the same way I was feeling decided to go get a, a vitamin IV drip, okay? It's where they put an IV in you and you take in the vitamins directly into the bloodstream and apparently when you leave you feel like Pie Pie after his spinach. Ashley says I say Pie Pie funny. Pie Pie. Pie Pie. Pie Pie's chicken. Pie Pie. Pie Pie. She's not home so I can say it without getting teased. Pie Pie! Anyway, so I'm excited yesterday. I go see my counselor, I'm talking about it in my counselor session. Okay, tell her. I'm like, I'm going to get an IV drip today. It's going to be amazing. And if it works good, I'm going to be exchanging granola recipes down at the Whole Foods by the end of the week. So I go over to the place. They get me set up. I sit in the chair. They put the IV in my arm. Within moments, ass out right there in the chair. All I remember is I was talking to the doctor about a book. The next thing I know, all I can think, the only thought in my mind is I can't think straight. I was literally like trying to figure out what I was trying to figure out. It was the craziest feeling I've ever had. So once I come back, it takes me like three hours to recover. We have to leave the car there. Ashley has to come and get me. So I thought I'm gonna run down there, get the thing, come home. No big deal. Nope. I have to get her on the phone. She has to come down there, pick me up. I have to come home. I lay down in the bed. I start to feel better after a couple of hours. Oh my gosh, it was intense. And then after I start feeling better, I take a lift down to the, uh, to the doctor's office, get my other car, bring it home. When I walk outside, notice it's a little windy, get in the car with the guy, and he goes, hey, man, awful windy tonight. Yep, sure is. Then, get home, lay down, about 11 o'clock at night last night, our phones go nuts. I mean, they go absolutely haywire. They are screaming, making noise. I think it's an amber alert. And so I'm like, Ashley, is that an amber alert? Nope, it was a tornado warning. My phone is telling me against my will to go take shelter now. Well, of course, phone's gonna go through all that. I'm gonna go take shelter. So I go wake the kids up. We go into the laundry room. We're hanging out in the laundry room for like 20 minutes. Tornado didn't hit. Thank God, I'd rather wake up and go stay in the laundry room for no reason and not get hit by a tornado than, you know, well, get hit by a tornado at all. Needless to say, it was crazy. It was a crazy, crazy day. And you may be asking yourself, Jason, what's the point of this video? There isn't one. It was a crazy day. And I just felt like I needed to share. So that's all. See you in the next one.